So you're probably wondering why I have two copies of the same book. And the reason is when I bought the first version of Black Hat Python, I didn't realize how outdated it was. Um, the first edition came out in 2015. And not surprisingly, that means most of the code in this book is written in Python 2. So uh, I first bought this book a couple years ago and I bought it when I decided that it was time for me to start learning how to write my own scripts. I wasn't really satisfied um, using other people's tools and not understanding how these tools are written. So, you know, I thought it was time for me to start writing my own hacking tools and kind of step my game up. You know, you don't, you don't want to be a script kitty. And as we all know, a script kitty is somebody who just, you know, uses somebody else's hacking tools but has no idea how those tools work and probably can't even write their own tools. So, yeah, that was my main motivation for starting to, uh, for buying this book. Unfortunately, I bought it, and like I said, it was written in Python 2, and it just ended up sitting on my shelf for a long time, which really sucked, you know? I was pretty, pretty sad about that. You know, and as you can see, you know, you can see it's using a lot of outdated stuff, stuff that um, isn't really used anymore. So, yeah, so that was pretty depressing because I had this book, really wanted to start coding and hacking, but couldn't. Um, and it cost me, what? Freaking almost 40 bucks? Yeah, bummer. So, I was really happy when Black Cat Python 2 came out. Um, and Justin Seeds and Tim Arnold did a freaking great job. And actually, I don't think Tim Arnold contributed to the first book. Nope, he didn't. But there's a co-author on the, in the second one. And man, this thing is great. Uh, by the way, if you don't know who Justin Seitz and Tim Arnold are, there's a YouTuber by the name of David Bomble who has a pretty good interview with both of them. Uh, Justin Seitz, Seitz I don't, I'm probably butchering that, is a professional pen tester, I believe. And I think Tim Arnold is a software engineer. Um, by the way, I'm not shilling for David Bomble. I'm not affiliated with David Bomble. I don't know him. Um, I'm just recommending the video because it's a great interview with the authors of this book. So anyway, the second edition came out just a couple of years ago, 2021, which is pretty freaking recent, you know, only two years have passed. And it's great because this, everything in this book is up to date, man. It's so freaking awesome. Um, it's in Python 3, uh, so that's great. So I finally got a chance to actually dive into this book. And in this review, I'm not going to really go over everything because this is the kind of book you have to do. You know, this is the kind of book you, you have to, like, write the code and really, to really understand it. And there is a lot, man. Um, it has really cool things. There's a Netcat clone, um, UDP clients, um, TCP proxies, uh, key loggers. I mean, uh, backdoor Trojans. It's got everything, man. It is such just a, oh, oh, it's so rich, man. It really is. And I've been going over each script and really try to get to a point where I understand every line of code, where I really understand how this stuff works, because I want to start writing my own scripts eventually. So I highly recommend uh, this book. And in my next video, actually, I'm going to um, do some live coding and go over uh, every script in this book with you guys. And I think that'll be make for a better video. Uh, in any case, I highly recommend Black Hat Python. You should definitely check it out. Uh, the second edition is currently going for $45. So a few dollars more than the first edition, naturally. But it's definitely totally worth it. All right. I'll see you guys later.